Chef Buck here and today we're going to make a chewy cookie recipe. I have been making this way too often. Luckily I've been making it in a dinky do pan, 8x8 eight eight pan. So this is kind of a small recipe and I'm going to do the basic version. Although this is an easy, super easy recipe to adjust. But here's some variations of the recipe. I made this one here with a little bit of lemon extract and some lemon peel. This is with some molasses. But basically this recipe is kind of almost the same. Just some slight adjustments and you can make all kinds of cookies. This is a chewy cookie. It's soft, but there's something to it. Kind of like this. It's soft, but there's something to it. Little bit of butter. It's already softened up. Some brown sugar. Boop. Now this is a three quarters cup of brown sugar. But if you wanted to, like to make the molasses version of this, just put in half a cup of sugar and then a quarter cup of molasses. All kinds of variations. Alrighty, what else? One egg. <laughs> Give it a crack. A little bit of vanilla. Just a dinky do amount of salt. That's kind of dinky-ish. Now we'll go ahead and mix these up and cream them together and get it nice and smooth and liquidy. Super duper smooth. And we'll get rid of our whisk. Now I'm going to add in my flour and I'm going to sift it. Old man river just keeps the boats down here. Keeps on rolling. So let's mix these ingredients up. Get our flour mixed in with our wet ingredients until it's all kind of wettish. And I'm going to throw in my walnuts. Boom. Are you nuts? Then I'll fold these in. And that's all there is to this cookie batter. That is it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, grease the sides of my baking dish right here. And I'm just going to do the sides because I'm going to use parchment paper on the bottom. Now you don't have to use parchment paper. You can just grease the entire pan, butter it all up, and cook your cookies in there, bake your cookies in there. But they're hard to get out. I mean, they're chewy cookies, so they're going to be kind of sticky on the bottom. They're sticky delicious. So it's worth the effort if you throw a piece of parchment paper down there. So we'll just spoon our batter into our pan. And as you can see, it's a very thick batter. Alrighty, so now we just want to spread our batter out. And just get it as close to the edges as you can. It doesn't matter if you get it all, to, all the way to the edge or not. Look how nutty that is. That's nuts! So once we got our batter spread out, we're going to throw it in the oven preheated at 350 degrees. We're going to let it bake away for 20 minutes. That's it. Beep, 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 beep. Alrighty, so that is it. And we're not going to fool with it now. We're just going to set it on this cooling rack and we'll let it cool completely before we fool with it. Although it'll be easy to get out of here uh, because of the parchment paper. But why risk it? Why risk death? Beep, 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 beep. This dish is still uh, pretty hot on the bottom, but I can handle the handles. But I'm going to go ahead and run a knife along the edge and just loosen up any areas where it might be stuck to the side a little bit. But it's not very tall and I grease the side, so we shouldn't have much of an issue there. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it over just to get it out of the pan. Bloop, bloop. And it comes out super easy because I've got that parchment paper. But if I didn't have the parchment paper on there, it's kind of a bear. So we'll just peel it away. This is kind of like the dream cookie side. You want a piece, camera girl? Heck yeah! And you can cut it whatever size you want. There is no wrong size to cut it. So let's see. Boom, boom, boom. How's that, camera girl? Four cookies? Does that sound about right? We'll go ahead and make 16 cookies out of this batch. And I'm going to leave them upside down like this here and let them continue to cool off on the bottoms a little bit. But you can see with the other batches I've made, these are the molasses ones. And I put the same amount of nuts. Well, no, I didn't. I put uh, half as much walnuts in here and then half coconut in here. And then these here have the lemon extract. And I also put half uh, walnuts and half coconut in here. I'll cut this one little piece in half. We'll do a preliminary taste. This is so good. You want a bite, camera girl? Feed your hell. Hey, 
There you go. So let me be the camera boy. How, how many batches of these dang cookies have I made this week? Mm, a lot. But Would you say too many? My mouth wouldn't. <laughs> well, this is a super easy recipe to make. Go over to our website and check out the recipe. Have all the variations written out over there. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the future. Bye-bye. All right, are you eating another piece? <laughs>